stay efficient here. Let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, they'll pinch you. <laughs> but I mean, they're not. 
they're not gonna draw blood. I mean, it don't hurt. It don't hurt. I mean, they'll you feel it. Don't get me wrong, you feel it, but it ain't gonna it ain't gonna draw blood. And all of them don't have claws. Usually, when I get them, I'll keep them intact. I don't pull the claws off like when I catch them, because sometimes I keep them for three or four days. Keep them in a cool place on your patio or whatever. And they, they're still out. And when you catch them at the beach, what do you use? What do you mean, as far as, get, as far as catching them? Yeah. I just pick them up with my hand. Oh. Yeah. But I mean, if you're a little scared, <laughs> if you're a little scared of them, I'll say just put on like some, uh, some of those little brown uh, gloves. Yeah. If they bite you with those on, they ain't gonna do, barely gonna feel it. Nothing. I just, he just got away. That was a nice one. That was fun. So 
like you come down, you never know whether you're gonna get anything or not. Got two and lost one. That gives me the inspiration to come back again and see if I can get the one I lost. Yeah. What type of hook are you using? Actually, believe it or not, five o, okay. five on, five on hook. Okay. Which, as you know, that's a big hook. Uh huh. And that's what. Well, I would say that's what I normally use. Uh, what I had on here tonight, and almost maybe even the reason why I think I lost that one. This is probably a size one hook. I took it down because. I was catching puffer fish too, and I was like, well, let me go with something smaller just so I can, puffer fish are smaller, so usually if, fish, if I was fishing for puffer fish specifically, then I probably would have on probably a size four or size six, or maybe a okay. size one. Well, I just bought a bunch of sixes, so we'll yeah, see. Yeah, that's a good size for, for puffers and that type of stuff, but if you don't do sheep's head fishing, I would say go with like a three or a five. I, I like the bigger hooks. Okay. So you can see I had that one hook that lost them, yeah. but this small, usually I don't, they don't get off like that, so. I'm thinking that might be lesson learned. Note to self, stay with your big hooks even though they seem extremely huge. They work and you don't lose fish. All right, so I'm on my way back from the fishing hole and I think I learned a valuable lesson tonight. And uh, that is do not try to be fancy and change your hook size to accommodate the different varieties of fish that you are catching when you have a hook size that you use for the particular fish that you are truly seeking. <laughs> what I mean by that is that uh, today, or I should say this evening, um, I was fishing for sheep's head, as I tend to do, and uh, I was catching puffer fish, and I just so happened to snag my line, and I had some size 1-0 hooks, and I had my normal 5-0, which is huge, I know, but that's what works. And you know, I caught a few more puffers and I did catch another sheep's head, but probably my biggest one that I hooked into this evening, I lost. And um, it wasn't because I broke my hook or he broke my line or anything like that. He literally just got off. And I think that smaller hook in this case caused me not to get that hook set that I normally get. So I'm gonna call that my theory. And uh, we're gonna stick to our 5-0, even when we're catching puffer fish and we just catch the ones we catch. And then of course, when we hook a sheep's head, we get them. So um, that's the moral of the story here. Don't change your normal hook size for the fish you are targeting to catch those that just happen to be biting <laughs> while you're targeting the fish that you're targeting. All right, so I'm rambling. All right, so be kind to the fish.